Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to get a uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard on Windows. And that's basically going to give you an iMac. And you can get most of the um, software on it um, from the Mac. There are some um, minor issues with it. It doesn't come up in full screen, but... Well, it does, but not like proper right screen, but you'll see it when I put it up. So what you're going to need is... Um, the DVD image from ISO Hunt. Now ISO Hunt is actually unblocked, but um, what you can do is go to ISO Hunt unblocked, and sometimes it comes with little pop-ups. Don't click on that, and if you can't get to it, just refresh the page or go off of it and go back on it. So it's ISO Hunt unblocked .co, and then it should come up. And yeah, and then what you're gonna need to do is ty type in. Alright, what you're gonna need to do is type in Snow Leopard. And um, there's a specific one that we need if it just loads up. Come on, boot up. Right. Now, there's, as I said before, there's a certain one that we need, and that is this one here. No, where are you? I think I've gone past it. Right here, and it says, as you can see all the well numbers and make sure it is Intel AMD by Hazard because that's the program we're going to be needing today and yeah so um once you've got that that's all you're really going to need and once you've got that download it won't take that long the most it should take 15 minutes but it depends on your computer so click new create new virtual machine and the name, I'm going to call it iMac. And it's going to be a Mac OS X server. And operating system is Mac OS X. And, um, give as much memory as you can on the green bar. Next. Um, create new hard disk. VDI. Dynamically allocated. And this is how the size, um, you want it and where you want it to be saved just click on that and then you can change it click next create and it should create it pretty quickly for you on your disk so it's already created for me and before you press start um, we need some settings to change on general it's all set up um, advanced is where you want it to be saved in the description you can add a description if you want and if you want to change your name it's always here system um, we need to uncheck enable EFI and we make sure it on the chipset it's on PIIX3 aka P2X3 so I'm going to click on that and processor four CPUs we're going to give it and um, uncheck enable PAE-NX acceleration is all set up for us display give it as much video memory as you can and enable 3D acceleration and storage we're going to need the Snow Leopard DVD image so um, it won't come up on your own, you're going to need to choose a virtual DVD file and click on the Snow Leopard one and once you've got that, press OK and we can start the virtual machine you can press the control button on your right and F and press OK but because I check don't come up again it didn't quickly press F8 before the time runs out press space dash V um, space bus ratio F B U S R E T I O equals 20 space C P U S 
equals 1 and press enter and hopefully this boots up successfully Now I'm going to use English for the main language. Continue. Agree. Now, um, as you can see, if you haven't done this before, um, there shouldn't be any destinations for it. And if there is, I think just delete the virtual box VMs if you, um, just the certain one that you need to delete. If you don't know that, just get back to me on the comment box. Just drop me a comment. And um, you should go on Disk Utility. You can create a new one if you want as well. Um, go click on this option here. Um, Vbox Hard Disk is the only option to the left. And Erase. And um, as you can see, it says Name Untitled. So I'm going to um, call it again iMac. and um, click Erase and Erase and it's partitioning and now we can successfully close it after it's done partitioning and now as you can see it says um, which whatever you decided to call it and I call it IMAP so in mind it would be IMAP and you can press continue and before you install you're going to need to customize it um, otherwise you just crash you barely get to do anything on it it won't complete successfully so we're going to need to click on Max, Mac OS X 10.6.2 and for me that's the latest one but it might be different so I'll always click on the latest one bootloaders you're going to need to go on chameleon 10.5 and kernels we're going to need to go on graphic in oh sorry the legacy kernel and graphic drivers is when we're going um graphic driver so we're gonna need to go on graphic neighbor and um you can click Rosetta and QuickTime 7 for additional programs but we'll be alright if we just go ahead and do this and click install. Um I'm just gonna skip the installation DVD that just is basically a waste of time but you can if you want. Now this is gonna take quite a while, say about 10 to 15 minutes around that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and um, I'll come back to you when it's done hey guys as you can see it should um, well as you just saw it should be um, installation success so um, what do you need to do this might come up if you just leave it for a bit what you do need to do is press right, the control on your right in R and press OK, but um, I'll check um, that. And then what you're gonna need to do is devices, CD, DVD devices, and remove disk from virtual drive. And Control R. And what should come up now is this iMac um, thing um, logo here, basically. I think it's um it's frozen. So I'm gonna press Control R. If it ever gets frozen, just press Control R. Here we are. Yeah. 
and um, we got the Apple logo, so um, it's worked successfully. Um, this is what I meant about um, the full screen. This is as good as it gets. So, it's not terrible, but it's not the best. Um, let's wait till this loads. Might need to skip in the video a little bit, but yeah. Just gonna pause the video. This might take a while. And this is what it should look like when you're um when it's finished loading. Um made on a bit. Hold on. Um yeah, so I am well, what you do, you need to um click wherever you are and if you're if it's not in here where you are, you just click show all. But for me, I'm in the United Kingdom on my holiday, as they say here. Um, keyboard layout, I'm going to go British. I'm going to um, do not transfer my information now. I'm going to put my Apple ID in. Um, if you don't have an uh, um, Apple ID, just press continue. It's just an account I set up while I'm in the UK. Um, and your first name. I'm not gonna put my real name, so I'm just gonna put that. Um, what shall I put? Um, phone number and up the net. Um, I'm very strict on my personal information. Go, and after you've done that information, um, your account name, you could do your full name, and your account name you can make up by yourself. I'm gonna put that. Um, my password. Um, no password hint. And continue. It says, Are you sure? And I'm going to hit continue again. And it's creating my account. And after this, you think you're going to need to um, click your time zone. So, whereabouts you are or what time you want it to show. So, I can give you the correct time. This just loads in time. Um, yep, so we'll continue. And go! And now, as you can see, we now have our iMac. 